Today on x -Hit, we're going to be doing the Jennifer Aniston Yoga Abs Workout. So, first things first, we're going to work that core. We're going to take one leg behind and we're going to straighten the arm in front and we're going to hold it here for 30 seconds. So you just want to try and fixate on a point, keeping that back nice and tall, toe pointed. Tummy pulled in and arm extended. Okay, keep holding it there. It's really good for strengthening in those ankles and the legs. Keep holding it, guys. You've just got 30 seconds on this side. Five to go. And then we're going to swap onto the other leg. And let's swap onto the other leg. So take a point, fix on it. And stretch out. You can hold it here again for another 30 seconds. So keep that tummy pulled in. Lift that leg a little bit more if you can. And just concentrate on your balance. You can really feel that strength in the ankles. Okay, just hold it here for another five. Okay, and release, and we're gonna go into the side plank dip. And this is great for your abs. So we're gonna hold it up here for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna release. And we're going to do each side three times. So let's put it up for 10 seconds. You can lift your arm too. It's going to really help those oblique muscles. Okay, two, one, release. And let's bring it back up for another 10. Squeeze really tight those abdominal muscles and those obliques and relax and last set on this side pull it up again look to the sky three two one and let's swap to the other side and let's lift it up for ten try and pull it up as high as you can three two one a quick drop down and let's bring it back up again Okay, and three, two, one, and last set on this side, pull it back up again, really strengthening those oblique muscles. Keep going guys, it's going to be really good to keep that waist nice and tiny. Pull it up and release. Okay, back to standing. We're going to do a really good stretch and also to help our muscles stay really centre and core. So, we want to take our hands together in prayer. We're going to lift one leg up and we're just going to lean one elbow to the knee. And we're going to do 30 seconds on each side. So we're just going to hold it here. Pull in that tummy. Keep focused on a point. Nice and strong. And that, that toe nice and pointed. OK, in 10, we're going to switch on to the other leg. You should really feel it in those calf muscles too. And release. Okay, bring it straight onto the other side. Just want to twist that body across. If you want a little bit more support, you can bend that other knee. It's going to help with your balance. Pull that tummy in. We are working those abs. This is great for stability. Keep going, guys. Keep holding it there. Okay. And let's just hold it here for another five. Oop. Keep going, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to do the crescent knee up. So, we're going to lunge backwards and we're going to pull up. Again, holding our tummy right till we get to the top. So, 30 seconds with each leg. Let's start with the right. We're going to bend it down and put it up. This is really great for your posture and to keep that abs really nice and tight and get that flat washboard stomach. Pull it up and lunge it down. 10 seconds left to go on this leg and then we're going to swap it over to the left. Keep going guys, you can really feel it in those calf muscles. And let's swap to the other side. Let's take the left leg back.
remember, if you focus on a point, it's going to really help with your balance. And this is called the crescent knee up. Now keep going. Really squeeze as you get to the top. And five more seconds of this leg. And then we're going to take it back down to the floor. Okay, squeeze. And now let's bring it back down to the floor. We're going to do the low boat with squeezing one knee in. So we want to hold it here. And we're going to pull one leg in at a time. So we do 30 seconds again with the right, 30 seconds on the left. Let's take it away. You can really feel those abs working. If it is too difficult for you, you can put one leg down and bring it in. If you can manage it, keep going like this. Really squeezing those abs every time you come in. Okay, almost ready to turn onto the other leg. Ready? And switch, okay. Left leg. Really pull it in, keep that back nice and straight. Oh, I can really feel it in those tummy muscles. I hope you can too. Keep going, guys. Excellent job. It's going to be worth it in the end. Ooh, keep going, guys. Ten seconds to go. Keep pushing it to the end. And three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, now we're going to do a three-leg downward dog. Okay, so it's like the normal downward dog. But we're going to take one leg and lift it. So we just want to hold it up here. Now as high as you can, pulling in that tummy the whole time. It's really strengthening that ankle and lengthening out our hamstrings. So keep going. Really point that toe at the end. <sighs> Nearly ready to change over. It's a hard exercise, so excellent job so far. And if you're ready, in two, one, Let's change it over to the other side. Reposition your hands if you need to. And let's lengthen that leg. Pull in the tummy. And just gently see if you can get the back of your foot on the floor. It's just to strengthen out that hamstring even further. Keeping the raised leg lifted and pointed and stretched. Excellent job, everybody. And three, two, one. Gently release down. Okay, now we're going to go into the plank position. It's similar to mountain climbers. We're just going to bring the leg across. We're going to do 30 seconds with the right leg, then 30 seconds with the left. So, if you're ready, your hands are supported. Let's take it across. If you need to modify it, you can bring one leg down and put it across if you need to. If not, keep up nice and strong. Pulling in that tummy the whole time. Okay, just a few more on this side. And give me a cat stretch. And then we're gonna change onto the other side. Okay, hands in position. Okay, so your last 30 seconds, we're just going to use our left leg and take it across. Holding that tummy in. Remember, we are trying to get those Jennifer Aniston abs. So make sure you're squeezing the whole time. And taking it across and pulling back in. If you need to modify it, you can just hold it out here. And give me one more, and release. And a nice big cat stretch to end. Roll those shoulders, and gently come up. Whew. Now, you're halfway there to getting those Jennifer Aniston abs, but remember, you need to keep working to keep improving and maintaining that toned body. So, guess what? Me, Rebecca Louise, and X-Hit are here five days a week for you. So, subscribe to our channel, it's free, and I hope to see you again soon.